All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting in our home away from home. I uh, wanted to do this video because this is going to be the talk of the town for the next couple of days. This is on the assault weapons ban in Washington, which passed both houses of the legislature and is going to the desk of the governor. I would be surprised if oh, Biden didn't show up and Kamala Harris in, in their like, big fight to go ahead and get everything taken care of and ban everything they possibly can. Because remember, if you own a firearm, you are a potential mass murderer. And that's the way they think. It's not that they want to get rid of some firearms. They want to get rid of all firearms. Because why should you, the civilian, have ownership of anything that would prevent you from being killed by the authority, to include body armor? So anyway, this comes to us by the way of Lisa Bauman with PBS. And I figured that was a, you know, a middle-of-the-ground rag to go ahead and read to you guys, share my opinions and things like that. The semi-automatic rifle ban passes Washington legislature. Governor expected to sign. That was at uh, 6.13 p.m. yesterday. Uh, yeah. So Bellingham, Washington, a ban on dozens of semi-automatic rifles cleared the Washington state legislature on Wednesday, and the governor is expected to sign it into law. Dozens. Really? The high-powered firearms, once banned nationwide, are now the weapon of choice among young men responsible for the most of the country's devastating mass shootings. Now, I wonder why they don't go ahead and share that. Is it young men? Is it always young men? I believe the last one uh, where three nine-year-olds and three adults were uh, killed was by a woman trying to be a man. So I guess they're right. You know, hey, to each their own. The ban <clears throat> comes after multiple failed attempts in the legislature and in a year that has been seen the most mass shootings during the first 100 days of the calendar year. Yeah, you know what would be really cool is if you go ahead and try to get rid of gangbangers. That would eliminate probably you know, 75, 80% of your mass shootings. But no, what they want to do is get the firearms out of you, your hands. The law would cover more than 50 guns, including AR-15s and AK-47s. That means every variant and similar style rifles, which fire one bullet per trigger pull. That's called half, 90% of the firearms in this country. And automatically reload for a subsequent shot. The bill bans their future sale, distribution, manufacture, and importation, although some exemptions are included for sales to law enforcement, of course, and agencies and the military in Washington. Uh, and I guess you're able to go ahead and hand them down to your youngins if you already have them. Uh, they're trying to prevent that. Oh, wait a minute. I have a meeting here very shortly. The law would go into effect immediately once signed by the Democratic J Governor, uh, Governor Jay Inslee, who has long advocated for such a ban. When the measure passed the state house in March, Inslee said he's believed in it since 1994 when as a member of U.S. Congress, he voted to make it federal law. FBI studies showed that it has done nothing to him the or lower the rate of mass shootings. Like I said, this is only it affects law-abiding citizens. It's not going to affect anybody else. Uh, we refuse to accept gun violence as normal. Gun violence in all its forms can be prevented. Inslee tweeted after the legislation first passed the Senate thanking the Democrat lawmakers who control both chambers. It's interesting that two big cities in uh, Washington, I guess, control the entire state. Nine states, including California, New York, and Massachusetts, along with the District of Columbia, have already passed similar bans. And the law's been upheld as constitutional by courts, according to Washington's Attorney General Bob, General Bob Ferguson. Yeah, there's going to be some uh, some lawsuits coming out here really soon. When Biden and other lawmakers talk about the assault weapons, they are using an inexact, inexact term to describe a group of high-powered guns or semi-automatic long rifles like the AR-15 that could fire 30,000 million gazillion rounds quickly without reloading. By comparison, the New York Police Department officers carry a handgun that shoots about half that much. They carry it on them, but if they're a patrolman, they have in the, their vehicle something very similar. Uh, trust me. During the debate on the Washington State Bill, Democrats spoke of frequent mass shootings that have killed people in churches, nightclubs, grocery stores, and schools. Senator Liz Lovelett of uh, Anna Court, I guess, uh, said that the kids' concern about school shootings need to be addressed. You will never be able to stop this. People are evil, and they will always continue to be evil. There are people out there that will want to do evil to young children, and it makes me sick to my stomach. But by doing this, you're not going to stop that. They are marching in the streets. They're asking for us to take action. Lovell said we have to be able to give our kids reasons to feel hopeful. 
Republican state lawmakers opposed the ban. Of course they did. With some contending, school shootings should be addressed by remodeling buildings to make them less appealing as the targets and saying it infringes on people's rights to defend themselves. Absolutely. Have you guys seen the new uh, designs for ch schools where they have hallways that curve around like this so there's not a straight shot? Uh, you can lock the doors. You have a, an exit for each one of the rooms. There's, it's, there's some things that can be done to eliminate this, but still their thought is it doesn't matter. You're, every school is a soft target, and you as a law-abiding citizen are an evil individual if you own a firearm. Uh, HB 1240 clearly violates our statement, our state and the federal constitutions, which is why we'll end up in court immediately. Senator Linda Wilson of Vancouver said some gun control legislation in other states have been struck down since the last year's landmark uh, U.S. Supreme Court ruling. OK, yes, which set new standards for reviewing the nation's gun laws. The ruling says that the government must justify gun control laws by showing that they are consistent and with the nation's historic traditions of firearm regulation. That's pretty cool to know. Uh, Washington's ban was part of a gun legislation package proposed by Inslee and the state attorney general. The other two bills approved by the legislation in the session will include a 10-day waiting period. Now, now we're going to get into the weeds on this thing. The 10-day waiting period for gun purchases and a bill that would hold gun makers liable for negligent sales. Now, this is going to be interesting. How do you prove that a sale was negligent? Manufacturers, dealers, all those people. The first would allow people whose family members die from gun violence to sue a manufacturer or seller is irresponsible in how they handle, store, or sell those weapons. Well, that's conjecture in most parts. If my door is locked, that at my home or in this area where I'm at right now, well, ladies and gentlemen, that means, where the hell did my pistol go? That means that it is secure. If somebody breaks into my home and they steal my goods, well, that person violated a locked envelope. Does that make sense? Does, okay, so if we do that, all right, it should have been locked in a safe, within a safe, within a safe, and until then, you're liable for anything to happen. Uh, under the state's Consumer Protection Act, the Attorney General could file a lawsuit against the manufacturers and sellers for negligently allowing their guns to be sold to minors, all right, no shit, or to people buying guns legally, in order to sell them to someone who can't lawfully have them. How the hell are you knowing if somebody's buying a firearm from your dealership if they're gonna go sell them illegally to somebody else? That in itself is a crock of shit. The second bill would require gun buyers to show they've taken a safety training. That in itself, all right, so I agree, everybody should have training, but that's a violation of our Second Amendment right, right there. It would all would also impose a 10-day waiting period for all gun purchases, something that's already mandatory in Washington when buying a semi-automatic rifle. Biden signed a sweeping bipartisan gun law last summer, the most significantly less legislative response to gun violence in decades. Well, I know he's done a lot of things that have affected this country uh, more than anything in decades. The U.S. Congress had imposed restrictions on the manufacture and sale of semi-automatic rifles in 1994, but allowed the restrictions to expire a decade later, lacking the votes to counter the powerful gun lobby. All right, well, that's enough ranting on my part, but I'm going to tell you something. And they didn't talk about the inheritance, because I do believe that if you're a child and you own a firearm and you pass away, that child, if they can legally own a firearm, I guess, would be able to keep that firearm. I was thinking about going ahead and uh, taking advantage of the free $200 tax stamp, but I decided, you know what, I'm not registering anything. Uh, so anyway, if you made it this far in the video, yes, I was firing at the 300-yard target and using the 200-yard uh Spot, spot on the uh, reticle, which meant that it landed 10 and a half inches low, which is really cool because that's exactly where it should have impacted. So with that being said, guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. This is a continuous fight. It will never end. If you own a firearm, like I said, to these people right here, you are a potential mass murderer. They cannot understand or contemplate or under, comprehend why it is that you have or need or want to own one of these weapons. I'm surrounded by them. They don't scare me. And as long as I own one, well, guess what? The other person is a, uh, <laughs> well, let's just leave it at that. So with that being said, guys, uh, let me know what your thoughts are on the story down below. Give me a comment, like, subscribe. We always end them like this. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. 
this is weird looking up at you guys like this, but it does make my face look skinner, so <laughs> skinny. So with that, we're going to go out and shoot again today. It's KB32. I'm out here in the great words of the, the great, the, uh, the uh, great Cobra burnout. I'm out of here. Boom. Y'all be good.